Okay, um, once we've now made one, two, three, four sides for our box, we may need to make the decision if we're going to leave the top of the box straight or we're going to put a curve in the top of the box. This is sometimes called a barrel top box because it looks like the top of the, the, the top of the box looks like the side of a barrel. So it gives it a kind of pirate chest look. Now, if you do this, decide to do this, it's harder work, but it allows you to access the higher level and the end of the product. So that's the barrel top box. The first thing we have to do is we have to cut the ends of our box, cut this curve on the ends of our box. So we take the ends of our box, there's the end of the box, our joints have all been cleaned up, we're ready to fit it together. And we need this. This is a template. A template is something we use to help us do a shape, draw a shape repeatedly the same. And what I'm going to do with the template is just fit it up to there and then draw a line round. Once we've drawn that line round, we want to, we can just do our little X's like we did on the other bits to show that that's waste. Once we've drawn that and we've drawn it on both ends, then the next stage is to cut that out. Now we can cut that out using the Hegner saw, or if you like to, we can use a coping saw. Once you've done that, then the, and sanded it, the end of the box, the two ends of the box should look like that. And then we've got our curve for our barrel top box. This one I've sanded nice and smooth, and this is ready to go. Now our next problem here is when we fit it to the sides, we can see that we've got this edge along the top is sticking up and we need to shape that we need to remove this material here and we need to shape that to take it off so the first thing we do is we mark it with a pencil here and on the other end and use a steel ruler to line that up and again draw our line then if you like to you can mark X's across to show that's the material we've got to remove now to do this we're going to use on this um, to take this material off and we need to take it off of an end we're going to use this tool this is a plane this has a blade in here which just takes off a thin layer of wood so to do that, we're going to put our wood in the vise. And we're going to use the plane. So we've clamped the wood in the vise. We're going to be removing this edge. And we're going to use the plane, just pushing along. And you can see that the um, plane takes off thin shavings of wood and what we need to do here is just keep checking that we've removed it if you can see there i'm actually deliberately angling the plane so that i can try and get an angle and just plane off a little bit check it plane off a bit and check it until <clears throat> your box the two sides match the curve that you've cut on the ends once you've done that and all four sides are the same then we're ready to go on to the next stage, which is gluing the box together.